Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to be covering guinea pig illnesses that you shouldn't ignore. Guinea pigs are prey animals and they hide their illnesses really well. It is super important to make sure your guinea pigs are healthy, so that's why I'm making this video. It's better to catch these illnesses early before they get worse. So if you want to know what you should be watching out for, keep watching. Number one, sneezing. Sneezing is something we all do, but if they're sneezing constantly, I would suggest you give them a health check. In most cases, sneezing might be from hay dust or debris in the air. Sneezing might also indicate of an upper respiratory infection or pneumonia. If sneezing is from allergies, it's common and will vanish within a short amount of time. But if it's caused by a respiratory infection or pneumonia, then this is a red flag and it needs to be much more worried and concerned about. The eyes also might be affected and there might be discharge from the eyes. And the color also might be yellow, green, or red. The guinea pig's eyes might also be crusty, almost sealed shut. Number two, loss in weight or lethargic. A guinea pig who is lethargic most likely would look puffed up and sitting in a corner. They also probably won't eat or having trouble eating, therefore they will lose weight. This is extremely concerning and this can lead to so much more if you don't bring your guinea pigs into the vet. It's better to catch things early in guinea pigs before it's too late. Number 3. Diarrhea Diarrhea is also something that you should be aware of. A guinea pig's poop should be shaped as an oval. Unhealthy guinea pig poops are small, but this depends on the guinea pig's age. Teardrop shapes can be a sign of dehydration, and watery poops is diarrhea. So this can be caused by food that the guinea pig ate or a change in diet. It also might be another illness along with it, but there are many illnesses out there that guinea pigs can have along with diarrhea, so it's really hard to tell. It really just depends on the guinea pig. Number four, scurvy. If you don't know what scurvy is, scurvy is another name for vitamin C deficiency. Guinea pigs need at least 10 to 100 milligrams of vitamin C every single day. And this depends on what source you give it to them. I highly recommend the Oxbow vitamin C tabs. So you pretty much just give them one a day and along with their veggies and pellets if you feed them and they should be fine. When a guinea pig has vitamin C deficiency, they will start to lose muscle tone and they might actually start to drag their legs and this is exactly what happened to Angel. So I'm guessing that she didn't have enough vitamin C. So vitamin C is something that is pretty much unlimited to guinea pigs and that should be unlimited. There is no such thing as too much vitamin C for guinea pigs because any extra vitamin C that they can't or won't like produce, actually they just pee it out. So there's no such thing as too much vitamin C. Give them all they need because they will need it. Number five, tumors and abscesses. Guinea pigs get various tumors, skin and mammary. Breast tumors are most common. Any mass should be brought to the attention of a veterinarian. In most cases, they can be surgically removed. Abscesses is an infected swelling containing pus or bacteria. This can lead to lymph nodes, skin, muscles, teeth, bones, and intestinal organs. Since guinea pigs form thick pus that do not drain or get absorbed easily, most abscesses in animals require surgical removal, followed by treatment with abscesses chosen based on the culture of the bacteria growing in the abscess. Some abscesses, like those involving the jaw and teeth, are most challenging to treat. Number 6. Urinary Problems Guinea pigs are very prone to develop urinary stones, and these stones might form into bladder stones, but they also might form in the kidney, or the stones might become lodged in to the guinea pig, and this can cause life-threatening obstruction. Although uncommon cysts and bladder infections occur most often in females and males, and often stones develop with association with infection, signs of urinary problems include anorexia, not eating, blood in the urine, straining to urinate, 
a hunched position, and small or frequent urinations. If an obstruction occurs, the guinea pig will be unable to produce urine, and any guinea pig with signs of a urinary tract infection should be seen by a vet. Number 7. Parasites and Skin Problems Guinea pigs, especially young ones, are prone to ringworm, which is an infection of the skin with a fungus, not with a worm. Certain animals might be ringworm carriers without showing any signs of illness. They can spread the disease to other animals, or they can develop the disease themselves if they are stressed by overcrowding, poor nutrition, the presence of other diseases, or other environmental stresses. The skin affected by ringworm can be itchy, loss of hair, and develop crusty scabs. Ringworm lesions are fo most found commonly around the face, head, and ears, but it can spread to the back and legs. After diagnosis by a veterinarian, affected guinea pigs are treated typically with an orally or antifungal medicines. That is it for my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let us know in the comments below.